Hey you guys, welcome to I'm So Super Single. Uh, this reading is an eight card spread and it's for those of you that are completely single and just wanting to know like uh, what's happening in your love life, any prospects and things of that sort. So we'll first focus on the reason why you are currently single. Okay, next we'll focus on who is coming towards you. All right, next we'll focus on when this will happen. And then next we'll focus on advice. Okay, so why you are currently single? We have the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like there is someone that is already thinking about you, daydreaming about you, maybe wanting to come forward. Um, but I feel like this person is just, I don't know, it's kind of like wishful thinking. This person also may be waiting for the right opportunity. Um, I feel like someone is a hopeless romantic or hopeful romantic. Yeah. And then you also may be waiting for someone. Maybe you already feel like you know who you want to be with, but you're just waiting for this person to approach you, waiting for them to have courage or um, come forward. The other thing I'm getting is something in regards to like, I feel like maybe some sort of action has already been taken. Um, and now it's just like, okay, whenever you're ready, I left the door open. Um, so whenever you respond back, so I feel like maybe someone already has taken some sort of action and it's just a matter of a response now. Um, it does seem like someone is just like waiting though. Mm. You also may have been kind of, um, uh, trying to keep an open mind about, um, relationships or about what you want and there seems to be something maybe even about a water sign like we didn't look into who is coming towards you yet but um, it's still possible that maybe this person has water in their chart or they're a water sign um, but it almost looks like there's somebody that is thinking about you and getting ready to come forward I feel like astrologically, there is something in regards to um, the, an alignment in the sky, especially in regards to the moon. I feel like for you, just depending on your situation, because everyone's birth chart is different. Um, but I do feel like there is something significant about what phase the moon is in and that may bring in like the right person for you especially um I don't know 
what percent <laughs> um, of waxing or wanting the moon would be at, but it does seem like the night that it happens, the moon could be crescent shaped. Hmm. But yeah, I feel that somebody is already kind of like in your energy or very near. Okay, um, the person coming towards you, I have Seven of Swords and Ace of Cups. All right, so it does seem like maybe someone, again, they could be watching, they could be lurking. Um, the only thing, you know, the, the negative part that I'm picking up is that maybe this person could be... Um, I don't know, deceptive in some way. Maybe they're a liar. Maybe they're in a relationship and that's part of the reason why they haven't come forward. Um, but they're looking, you know. Um, but something about this person, I just feel like they're secretive. On a positive note, maybe they're secretive for a reason. Like maybe that's just part of their job. Maybe they work for the government. Um, maybe they work for FBI, you know, so something's going on where maybe secrecy is just a part of their job description. Um, this person also seems to be intuitive. Again, we have water coming out. So it could be a water sign or someone with uh, strong water placements or it just has the characteristics of water. Um, this person may be intuitive. They may be um, sensitive, romantic. Um, I almost get that this person could also be selfless. Like they love unconditionally. Mm. This person also seems to be maybe artistic. Uh, I feel like maybe someone can either sing or someone knows how to paint. I feel like they're just very creative artistically. Mm. Even if this person isn't spying or keeping tabs on you, they might have someone doing it for them. Um, I feel that they can see you from an angle that you're unaware of. Um, they're like in your blind spot. I don't feel like you're going to see it coming when this person does approach you. I do feel like they like to write secret messages or like, Love letters, poems. Hmm. This person may like to see, and that's the thing, they may be indirect or passive, but I kind of feel like maybe they like to leave clues about their feelings for you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and then something about winter is sticking out for me too. I don't know, they could be uh, Pisces or maybe it's just something significant about this winter coming up. All right, so let's see when. We have the King of Swords and a Chariot. So the timing may have something to do with an air sign. Timing also may have to do with someone um, either needing to confront their fears or someone needs to let their guards down. Maybe someone 
has their guards up really high and is needing to be more receptive um, to receiving love. Mm. Just like the whole part of why you're single, I feel like somebody is waiting to see if you're ready. They're like, okay, let me leave a, a clue out. Let me flirt. Let me see what their response is going to be. If it's a good response, then I'll um, come forward even more. So it could be that someone is just like basically testing the waters before they um, fully let their guards, before they come forward, because they want to make sure that you aren't going to be very guarded and want to see that you are ready to receive. Um... Timing also may have something to do with uh, a cancer um, or something in regards to cancer. Hmm. If you have, look and see where cancer is in your birth chart and, and see if there's any significant transits going across that house that it's in because that may have something to do with the timing. Um, or something may have something to do with a little cancer. Mm. So for some of you, honestly, maybe it is like further out before this will happen and something may not happen until cancer season, which is all the way, you know, next year, late June, um, through late July, Hmm. And then I feel like timing also is just dealing with circumstances in general. So I feel like you need to be ready. If you do feel like you are guarded or defensive, you know, you just need to be ready to receive. Also, timing may have to do with some sort of trip. So if you have a trip coming up, if you're getting ready to travel somewhere, that could be around the time that it happens. Mm. As far as metaphysical things, you might have some sort of dream, some sort of significant dream, and then it's like, the next day or later on that day or whatever, um, this person will come forward or reach out to you. So it could be that you have some sort of premonition right before it happens. Hmm. I do feel like you're going to have clarity or you're needing to have clarity. I'm here to just be ready. That's what I just keep getting. Just be ready. Something also may happen at night during the dark or before the sun comes out. Anytime where it's dark outside. Mm. Okay, now I'm also getting something about Santa Claus. So <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with it unless it's talking about Christmas. Um... I don't know, I'm just getting something about like Santa riding his sleigh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, something could happen around Christmas. And then I see this guy's chimney here. So maybe it happens when you're watching some sort of Christmas movie. I don't know, but it does seem like something is having to do with Santa Claus. Hmm. Maybe that's what some of you put down on your your wish list <laughs> for Santa. Or maybe you should. <laughs> Be all grown writing something like, Dear Santa, <laughs> please send so-and-so. So, I don't know. And that is a form of manifestation. So, um, let me stop being silly and see what your advice is. All right, advice I have, Four of Cups and Ten of Cups. 
So it seems like, for one, I feel like this is more so about uh, encouragement. Sometimes like you have rainy days and maybe you feel like, you know, nothing's happening, wondering if something's ever going to happen for you. Maybe you're, you've been too focused on the things that you don't have. You also may be, um, you know, just feeling emotionally blocked or guarded. Um, but I feel that, you know, this is saying that don't worry, like you're going to have your day. You are going to have that that dream, that family or that person that you, you know, think about being with or having that life that you fantasize about. Um, so I feel like this is kind of like encouragement as advice. So I do see that again, it is talking about needing to receive because it's like you're being um, emotionally closed off right now. Maybe you're not quite ready, but I feel that um, the minute you are really ready to share your life with someone that this person will come in. Um, maybe you want to be left alone. Maybe you're feeling selfish um, and just wanting to focus on you. Maybe you keep thinking that you're supposed to be with one person. So you it makes you blind to seeing, you know, the person that you actually will end up with. Um, yeah, I just feel that something needs to be released. And then I do feel that when something happy or good happens to believe it and accept it instead of doubting it. I feel like it's okay to allow yourself to be happy. It's okay to daydream or to fall in love. I also feel like advice is to dream it, imagine it. So now it's also making me think of Neville Goddard. Um, and Neville Goddard teaches that uh, God is our imagination. And so, you know, there, I love some of the things that he teaches about as far as manifesting. If you have not checked him out, because I'm always mentioning him, but if you've never heard me mention him before, um, I would advise to check out some of his lectures. He's, he's not alive, um, but you know, people have his lectures um, still circulating on YouTube. So you might want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I feel like your advice is to, you know, believe in your dream, be open to receive, believe something can really happen. Maybe you feel like something is never going to happen or it's too far fetched. But yeah. And then, you know, if you have been just dissatisfied or disinterested in the people that have been approaching you I feel like that's that's gonna come to an end all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and clarify okay there could be something in regards to the singer Prince that has something to do with your love life I don't know what the connection is I don't know what the connection is I, I was just getting like a strong energy about Prince maybe they're a Prince fan um, maybe you guys will bond talking about Prince or you know on your love for Prince maybe this person looks like Prince or reminds you of Prince Maybe they make music. Maybe they're a songwriter and you're like, oh my God, this person reminds me of Prince. And also Prince was Gemini. I do have air out.
Hmm. Okay, I feel like somebody somebody does not want to be wearing rose tinted glasses or is aware that they fall in love quickly. Um I feel like maybe someone is just trying to be more um you know logical when it comes to choosing and love maybe somebody is like i want the, i feel a connection with this person but i don't want to say anything just yet because i always know i fall in love so quickly so i'm just going to observe i feel like this might be picking up on the energy to whoever is observing you unless you're the observer um but it does seem like maybe someone is like still needing to kind of take a step back and really think clearly and not get lost in some sort of a, an illusion. Um, but I also get that there is something about a vision or premonition again. Wishful thinking. You might be thinking that, you know, it's not possible for you to have this relationship. Um, or something seems far fetched, far fetched, or just out of reach. I feel like overall, there's that Gemini. I'm seeing purple. I don't know what Prince is gonna have to do with your love life, but I just feel like he got something to do with it. Now I do, uh, I will share my personal belief about Prince. I feel like, um, Prince may be some sort of a archangel now. That's what I feel. Only because of that significant thing that I, well, he was already very spiritually aware before he passed away and tried to, even before my awakening. And I go back and I hear some of the little things that he was saying. And I'm like, oh my God, like Prince was very aware of a lot of things, but you know, when he died, like that rainbow appeared over his studio. That is like, look at him showing out. Like, I really just feel like something is significant about him. Um, and maybe what it has to do with your love life. Maybe he is some sort of angel now that's assigned to assisting people in their love lives. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, I feel like that maybe there's something significant about him. Um, now, I don't know. I keep getting for you. You keep wanting to give up or you just keep, you keep losing your faith in something. But your faith is going to be restored. Some of you also are confused about what you want or you're confused about what you need. There's some sort of confusion. And also there may be somebody that you truly believe that you're supposed to be with, but because it didn't happen, you're just like, why didn't that happen though? Like you, I feel like you're trying to make sense of it. Um... Okay, I'm getting another situation uh, in regards to why you're currently single. Something may have something to do with betrayal. Um, I don't know, it seems like maybe someone betrayed you. I don't know if it was somebody that you used to deal with or date or knew. And something what something could have happened between you guys or you were in a relationship with them, but they betrayed you or somebody betrayed you like a, a family member or a friend. Like they threw some sort of monkey wrench in your love life. And caused some sort of separation or something. I don't know. It just seems like maybe something had to do with betrayal. Hmm. Hmm. I don't 
don't know. Maybe someone also said something that, I don't know, prevented someone from coming into your life. Or they did something, they intervened and messed things up for you. Something happened. Something may have happened. Hmm. And then the other thing I'm getting is something about d the distance again. Like, you're just single because your person hasn't, they're distant from you. They haven't come into your life yet, but they're on the way. And someone sends mixed signals. That's another thing I got. Somebody keeps sending mixed signals. Um which is causing delays in something getting started. coming towards you seems as if they could be sad about something um, I feel like they regret not taking some sort of opportunity when they had the chance so if this is a past person then I feel like maybe someone wants to offer an apology or they want to make an amends. They want to make something right. Um, so for some of you, it could be a past person. If it's a new person, um, I still feel like this is someone who is maybe um, sad or dealing with a lot of emotional things. I still feel like they're intuitive, but they hide their feelings or they hide their gifts. Mm. It's possible that this person follows you on social media, on some kind of platform, whether it's LinkedIn or, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Somebody follows you on social media. Mm. I feel like you've dreamed about this person too. Um, for those of you that dream, I feel like you dreamed about them or have had premonitions about this this person. Um, this also may be someone that you've fantasized about. I feel like they definitely have Scorpio placements. Um, could be Mars, Venus, Sun, but I feel like they have Scorpio placements. And I also feel like someone has Cancer placements. Um, someone has had too much pride to, to just like acknowledge you or come forward. Hmm. But the person coming towards you is very mysterious. They're very mysterious. They're secretive. I feel like they could be psychic. They could work for government. Um, and they have some sort of hidden talent or gift. I feel like it takes this person a minute to trust people but when they do, they let their guards down and they feel confident. Hmm.
So the win, again, seems like it does have to do with confronting fears, needing to be brave, needing to admit something. Um, I feel that timing has to do when someone stops overthinking things and second guessing themselves. I also feel like there is a is something in regards to a trip or traveling has something to do with timing. Um, somebody needs to overcome their fear of flying. Um, yeah, somebody does need to overcome their fear of flying. And then also this may have to do with whenever you go on this trip. And now I do feel that Tommy may have something to do with um, Christmas holiday or Capricorn season. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing something about the Christmas reef. Hmm. They're going to come at a pivotal point in your life, some sort of turning point. I feel like you're going to feel this change or shift happening. Um, it's like your life, they're going to come in the middle of your life taking some sort of 180, 180 degree turn. Um, hmm. Okay, I see that some sort of blockages need to be removed. Um, and that might be like a literal block or privacy thing. Like maybe someone's page is private and once they make it public, um, then that's when this person will come towards you. Mm. Somebody is afraid of change, doesn't want change to happen. I feel like somebody needs to be willing to allow change to come in. And there also may be some sort of change coming in regards to someone's career, which also has something to do with the time frame. And then I was mentioning travel, but if you are about to have a visitor or if somebody is getting ready to move into your home, it could happen around that time. Or if you are about to move into somebody's home or like get a roommate, anything of that matter. So I feel like timing has to do more so with events. Hmm. Someone needs to overcome their fear of rejection too. Like that's really blocking somebody from coming forward. Okay, advice so far is talking about sharing. Um, I feel like there is a need for you to share. Uh, there also may need to let something go or let something in. If you were holding on to a grudge, I feel like maybe you're needing to let go of some sort of grudge. Um, 
If something is being shared with you, I feel like you should just accept it. It's a gift. Something is a gift. I don't know if you're blocking your blessings or blessings or you are being closed off to something that the universe is trying to give to you. Hmm. I feel like you're needing to release. There's a need for you to release. Uh, you also may need to be generous with what you have. Mm, I kind of feel like when you are generous, then you are going to receive. A generous gift. Mm. Now this is for your love life, but I still kind of feel like family has something to do with it. Um, so I don't know if you are being advised to share something with your family or to assist your family in some way. If you are wanting to have children, it's more of a message of hope indicating that that is a possibility for somebody someday or this will be the person um, that can give you children. It also may be letting you know that Let's say, for instance, you said you don't want to be with anybody that has children. I feel that your, you know, soulmate or the love of your life might possibly have a child or children. And so if that's the case, I kind of feel like you are needing to be open and receptive and understand that they come as a package. Um... And aside from that, like children, children, this may be indicating that you are or reminding you like you're not going to marry just that person. You're going to marry their entire family. So maybe you're the type of person that you just like to be uh, you and your partner and nobody else involved. It might be like, hey, the love of your life has a big family and they love their family. So you might have to get used to that and be accepting or open to the fact that this person has a family, not saying that the whole family moving in with you, but like their family might be like calling, want to talk to you, want to check up and see what you guys are doing, might invite you over to different family gatherings, have family vacations, like they might be a very involved family. And if you aren't open to that, um, it might be saying, hey, we know you don't like that, but this person is everything you want and they're like that. So, you know, just be open to receive it. Um, so, yeah. There's a need for you to share. And I feel like you're having to make some sort of adjustments in your life to allow love in or everything that comes with it yeah so i feel like that's pretty much it but let me just kind of take a brief look and see maybe you're not a pet person and this person has a pet so yeah I feel like for the most part, the reading is saying to get ready because something is like in your energy field and you are going to need to confront your fears and let your guards down and just be prepared um, to share your life. Something significant about a water sign is really sticking out too. All right, so hopefully these messages help, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.